First fish of the morning. Yeah, on a spinner bait. Here we go. Oh God, he just missed it. I got Nate the Great in the boat throwing top water first thing in the morning. It is a sprinkler frog made by Tekel, which is a Japanese lure company. You hear that thing just plopping away. He's got struck probably three times already. I got Adrian in the boat. And I got Mr. Lee in the kayak. Which has already gotten about three strikes on a big red buzzer. Now it sounds like he has one over there. He just... Oh, he just lost it. Awesome. Stand by. Yeah, fish number two of the morning on the three quarter ounce War Eagle Pro's Choice spinner bait with the trailer hook. This one got the trailer hook. We're gonna go ahead and release it. Yeah, let's get another one. Yeah, buddy, I guess I need to start recording. This is number three on the spinner bait. About the same size as the other one. Actually, this is probably a little bit smaller. We're going to go ahead and release it and start recording. Here we go. Hit that like button. Had a south wind, now it's changed to a little bit of a north wind. We are nine days out from a full moon, the August full moon. Yeah, got another one. Another one. Here we go. This one's a good one. This one's good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. You hear that? Holy shit! Look at it. Net this. Net this. Quick, quickly, hurry! Oh my god. Yeah, 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 yeah! Woo! Look at that thing! Damn, boy! Woo! Look at this, I got it on film, too. Trailer hook, barely look, hooked. Oh, that's what we wake up for in the morning right here. That's a good one, yeah. You see this? Oh, that's scary right there. <laughs> oh, you got one. Is it a good one? There's another one right behind 
that too. Looks like a 687, 690. 690, There we go, 690. Look at the difference of A 6 freaking 90. I'm gonna almost eat that one. Look at that. Fucking, that's a big one. Just shy of a seven pounder. God dog, look at that. anything in there, ladies and gentlemen. Hit that like button, please, for this one. That's God dog. That's almost. Oh. Yeah. Just cut this 6.90 on a spinnerbait, three quarter ounce, first thing in the morning. Yeah, it's a big end. It's worth to wake up in the summertime, get on water before it even gets light out. This is what's lurking in the waters here. Ready to go. We're going to release this fish. Here we go. Yeah, buddy, number five. Got five quick on the spinnerbait this morning. This one's uh, not even comparable to the last one I caught, but we'll let it go. Feisty. Yeah, yeah, a big one, a Come on, don't come on. God, here it comes. God, oh, it's not as big as I thought. Still, it's a good one. A little ice keeper. Yeah. Number seven. You see that thing smoked that? It absolutely killed that. It got the main hook. That is what we're looking for. That is number seven. That has actually been caught before. Got a messed up lip. Just a cookie cutter fish. Let's get some more. Yeah, we got some corn. A little mid morning snack. Grilled corn in the boat. Saturday morning. Towing the kayak. We got Mr. Lee and his boy, Adrian. We got Nate the Great. And swim bait 79. Been here since 4.30. Yeah, fish number seven on the spinner bait. Pretty much all I can catch them on today, but we have absolutely perfect conditions at the moment. So we're fishing in the moment.
I'm on that boot. There's two fish on the spinnerbait. Bump. another one. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. He come back for it. Oh, look at that little bastard. Oh, it's a stupid rock bass. Yeah, I was like, hey. <laughs> <It'll count. laughs> oh, that number uh, nine now? Yeah, nine fish, but... You see, you see his red eyes? You see his no, eyes. it's eight. No, your last one you said seven. That was actually eight. Oh, yeah? Yeah, seven. Whoa. <laughs> Yeah, this is a uh, rock bass. They're supposed, supposedly delicious, but I, I've never ate them. <laughs> hey, I've had days like that too. <laughs> I'm telling you, there's more fish here. This is kind of open, got a little sparse grass on it, as long as you keep your lure in the top foot of the water column should be less likely to get fouled up by grass but man something's gonna come up <laughs> to it This is too good right here. I might have just got bit right there. I sure felt like it.
about to turn around and go the other way. I just like to fish this mouth right here. There you go, Nate with number four. Yeah, number four. Oh, he's about to poop. Yeah, lunch time in the boat. Got a little lunch break going on. We got beef brats, potato salad. Yeah. Yeah, fish number eight on the spinnerbait. Bass number eight, fish number nine. Yep, yep. We're gonna cut through, we may bump. <laughs> Whoa, again, pinball.
free fishing line. Been trying to get a bite on this magnum sized frog called the King Daddy, made by Spro. Dean Rojas himself helped design that frog for Spro. Almost winding down for the day of fishing. be the last uh, little bit of fishing for us Let's see if I can't put one more in the boat on the old stutter step which is an oddly shaped top water but it helps you walk that bait a whole lot easier basically effortless This used to be an old summertime pattern. I used to like to run, especially in August, is come out away from the bank and find the biggest stumps or laydowns, biggest pieces of wood outside of the bank, away from the bank. As you guys can see, the clouds are burned off. We had a heavy marine layer this morning. Gave us extra time of fishing around the activity level of the bass uh, declined over the last two hours substantially compared to this morning
I've had a, a big fish break me off, off of that left piece of wood. On a top water a few summers ago. The one thing you want to do is cast close to it, but you don't want to snag the piece of cover because then you have to go and unsnag it and you'll blow up the whole area. And you really only get one shot at these fish. You might be able to let them reset and come back about 40 minutes to maybe an hour later. Especially if they come up and just flat out miss the bait. Sometimes they want pauses, sometimes they don't. They will tell you what they want. Just remember what you were doing when you get that bite. That'll help you build up your pattern for the day and uh, continue to get bites. I think that's gonna do it for the video for today. Mr. Lee ended up with two fish. Nate the Great ended up with four. And I ended up with nine fish overall, eight bass overall, one rock fish, one rock bass, I should say. Big fish of the day was early this morning. Fell victim to the old spinnerbait, which is a trusty low light lure you can always trust anyway hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed thank you for watching until next time swimbait 79 out